All right, I want to do a quick video here about Tesla's solar roof, solar tiles, um, because there is a lot of misunderstandings and confusion about them. And as you can see, these are pictures of what apparently the tiles look like, and they look really nice. They look like a regular roof for the most part. There's a little bit of sheen and shine on there that you wouldn't normally see on a roof, and this one doesn't seem to be that way, but some of the other uh, designs, they appear a little bit shinier than normal, but I think that that's, if that's the only thing, then people will not have any problem with that. But let's go back to the history of this, because the way they're marketed, they seem like Tesla's had some amazing new innovation that's never existed before. But I want to tell you, first of all, that's not true. Um, they These tiles were, there was a similar type of a product. You can see it right here. And it's obviously not quite as attractive. It's not on the entire roof. But it was made by uh, Dow Corning, I believe. Let's see, was it Dow Chemical Company? Yeah, they had the powerhouse solar system. And it was, it was, it was their shingle line. And of course, unfortunately, and good for Tesla, they went out of business around the same time Tesla started. This article here, when they went out of business, is from July 1st, 2016. They went out of business, uh, opening the whole market to Tesla. And of course, these this was a compromised design. As you can see, it doesn't look, you can see what they put the sheet of tiles on. It's not the whole roof, but it's better than a solar panel. If they would have innovated a little bit, I guess, they would have come up with a similar design that Tesla has but they didn't and it was basically something that was shut off when the, a merger occurred with the uh, Dow Chemical, I guess, right? Um, but anyway, that's the history on that. So if you think that Tesla has come up with this idea completely on their own, they haven't. This is where the idea came from. Now they didn't perfect it. They didn't do a good enough job to be able to market all this stuff and make a living off of it. That's why they shed that business. But um, anyway, let's fast forward to now. Over here at the Gigafactory 2 in Buffalo is where they're producing these solar roof tiles. And let's go back to the Tesla site. This is what they look like. And let's see. This is, here's, they have textured, smooth, Tuscan, and slate. Coming in 2018, they haven't had it yet. You can sign up on their site. They're invisible. Now the way it works is, they say they're powerful. They say they have an infinite warranty, which is actually pretty attractive because you're gonna spend a lot of money on this roof. You're gonna spend a lot of money because you're basically front-loading the cost of electricity. Tesla says they will finance this. Now what the terms are, I don't think we know at this point in time. If you know, please write in the comments. But that's gonna make a big difference because not many people can afford to front-load 30 years worth of electricity. According to Tesla, you know, this roof is supposed to pay for itself, meaning you just pay for electricity and the roof ends up being free on average, you know, based on a per application basis uh, during the course of the year. But not all these tiles are actually going to have solar. Here's another thing. If you look at the roofs, only parts of the house really face the sun in a way that's efficient and able to produce uh, solar electricity. So really, the payback and what you make or don't make, because you can come out either positive or negative after 30 years, it's going to depend on the orientation of your house and the way the roof design is, how it's facing the south, and uh, whether there's trees or not. That all is a huge factor in all this. So this doesn't eliminate that. That's still probably the most important thing is the orientation and design of your roof and whether you have trees blocking you. That will determine whether this is going to make sense or not from a financial standpoint. Now, if you come down here, they want you to pair, pair this up with a power wall, which is like another $7,000 on top of the roof for each power wall. You don't need it if you're in a state that has net metering, but if you are in a state that uh, doesn't have that, then um, you're going to need a power wall because otherwise you're going to produce all this excess electricity at times that you're not going to be able to sell back to the power grid and just going to go to waste if you don't have one of these. So this is actually a sound investment to spend that money on. And if you do have a power wall, even if you live in a state where you can sell back, this will function as basically a battery backup in case the power goes out, which it does from time to time. You won't need a, a gas power generator or uh, something like that. So here's the uh, warranty. See, tile warranty, power war you've got a power warranty for 30 years, weatherization warranty for 30 years, and infinity, or the lifetime of your house, whichever comes first, tile warranty. So I guess that means no breakage, right, for 30 years. But the power warranty is only limited for 30 years, and the weatherization, now what that means, I don't know exactly, is only for 30 years. So you got to read the fine print on these warranties. I'll probably make a separate video about that, because that in itself is going to be an issue. And let's see, monthly loan payment. Okay, these are all like little things that you can read on the Tesla website. Now, Consumer Reports did something here about the math of the Powerwall. 
because they wanted to check themselves to see, you know, is, is what Elon Musk saying actually correct? And this is from August 4th of 2017, so it may need to be updated. But, um, you know, they did an analysis of all this, and they said that actually, in their first analysis, the own cost calculations, um, they were, Tesla was lower, I think by 11%. But of course, they're finding out that it really depends on the house and the orientation and you know which tiles are actually solar, which are not, because like see in this example, seventy percent are solar, thirty are non non solar, and of course that, that that varies with the cost. But of course, you only want to use more solar where you're actually going to gain electricity. You don't want to waste your money, and you don't want to pay any more for the solar versions of it than you actually are going to be able to utilize. So this one's a fifty fifty, and you can see that's a negative. There's a, a negative return on this house, but there was a positive return cash wise after thirty years on that house. And this one is only 50%, so that may have something to do with it. That's why I'm saying the biggest factor here may be the design of your roof, the orientation of your house, whether it is trees, all that kind of stuff may be the biggest factor in this, bigger than anything else. This one's also 50-50, but it also says it'll give you a savings of 41000 This is in California. That's probably because the electricity rates are a lot higher, so you have a lot more to offset. What you're offsetting is a much higher, more expensive per unit product of, uh, of, of electricity than in most places. So that's also a factor. So anyway, you can see these roofs are expensive. Let's uh, go here, like this roof on this house, $50,000 plus $7,000. Um, this roof is $73,600 plus $12,500. And this roof is $38,400 plus $7,000. So the financing is gonna be incredibly important. And it's still a lot of unknowns with that. But if the financing is at a good rate and it works out, this could make financial sense. Uh, there's just a lot of things we don't know. If you know anything about the financing, please let me know. There's other things on here, other cost calculators you can find online that, that do similar things. They're talking about here, different scenarios. Like if you need a new roof, how is this going to affect you financially? Because that would be the best time you'd think, right? If you, if you don't need a new roof, if you need a new roof and you want solar on it, etc. Where is that? Anyway, they, they do different different calculations. So I'd like to hear if you if you if you're a reservation holder or anybody, uh, what your experience has been so far. We'll follow up these videos with with more because I'm definitely interested in this kind of stuff, and how it's going to work going on in the future. And for now, I guess nobody's even had an installation that I know of. If you know of anybody, tag it below. Give me a link or something like that where we could see it in action by an actual retail paying customer because that is really going to be something that we're going to want to zero in on as soon as that's available. Thanks for watching.